Painting is the most direct communication. You don't have to translate in your mind what somebody is saying. It's a direct contact between the customer or the visitor and me, it's direct, immediate, and powerful. Oh, I have loved Dali and naturally Chirico was the most important one. Ernst, I admire very much, and Delvaux and Margaret. All the masters I admired died three or four hundred years earlier. What had impact on my work was the, the collections of the masters in Italy. When I finished in Germany, I had a show in Germany, and then after the show I would get on train and go to Perugia, go to Genoa, go to, uh, to see some Italian artists. That's how I learned what you have to do. Those were my teachers. But I don't think they are better than average artists. I think mastership has to be determined by the critics, by the art experts, professors, uh, people who studied art for, for many years. They are authorized, they have the competence to judge make these decisions. I mean, I cannot do that. I mean, I do as much as I can. But how, how does it compare to Perugino I, or Raphael? I, I'm not very competent to judge. It will be, I think, history. People 50 years from now who will make these decisions. Who was the best in our town? I have a painting called the yeah, Charles Street, and that's a, that's the center of the old city, and there is a street going up the hill to the cathedral, and on both sides there are old baroque houses, and people who come to the show they go see the paintings, the contemporary paintings. They like it, but then they stay 15 minutes in front of that Karlova Ulitsa Charles Street. And I believe that they are getting, uh, somehow, they understand what I was doing. In other words, they understand the feeling I have had when I made it. In Scranton, I paint Scranton triptych. I paint the old Casey Hotel and I painted the Culture Center and then I painted the um, station, New Jersey Station and it's very nice. Those paintings are very sweet. I, I like them myself and everybody seems to like them but they are not Renaissance building or Middle, middle Ages town with the, the power of the Middle Ages, the, the streets where you would go Sunday afternoon and there's nobody living there, the houses mostly are empty. And yet you stand there and draw some house and you constantly have that feeling that somebody's watching you. Best of all, I like Scranton because there is an intellectual people who 
understand art and who are involved in judging art.